million-dollar contracts, in aspiration many aerospace firms, strive to achieve at least once in their operational tenure. However, for SpaceX, securing such contracts has become a routine feat, accomplished swiftly and repeatedly over recent years, defying industry norms characterized by cutthroat competition. The pace at which SpaceX lands these lucrative contracts is unprecedented, and frankly astonishing in the fiercely competitive aerospace landscape. How does SpaceX manage to secure these billion-dollar deals with such rapidity? What sets them apart in this realm? Stay tuned as we dive into this and lots more in today's episode. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of my channel. S SpaceX's unparalleled success in swiftly securing billion-dollar contracts and explore the strategies, propelling their meteoric rise in the aerospace industry. So what notable billion-dollar contracts has SpaceX achieved over the years? Firstly, we have to talk about the $2.6 billion contract they were awarded in 2014 by NASA. In 2019, NASA awarded an additional cost-plus contract to the engineering company, Bechtel, to design and build a large mobile launch tower. Remember how the mobile launcher was originally supposed to cost $383 million? Well, if this funding goes through, it'll push the money allocated to date to nearly $1 billion, 10 times more than Starship's Mechazilla launch tower. The 118-meter tower will facilitate fueling and launching a larger and more capable version of NASA's Space Launch System rocket. Besides NASA, SpaceX has also become the top choice of military agencies including the USSF. In 2020, the Space Force selected SpaceX to become one of two contractors for Phase 2 of the National Security Space Launch Project with a total value of up to $3.5 billion. SpaceX received this contract to develop a vehicle to help send astronauts to the ISS, and perhaps we all know that with that money, SpaceX created Dragon, NASA's main vehicle in ISS missions to date. This is also even more meaningful to SpaceX and NASA when the Dragon is the vehicle that ended the U.S.'s dependence on the Russians and crewed missions for about a decade. After the ISS mission, perhaps Dragon will still be the top choice for NASA and many others. Next in 2022, Dragon also helped SpaceX win two more billion-dollar contracts including $3.5 billion for three additional Crew Dragon flights, and then another $1.4 billion for five more, increasing the total missions of Crew Dragon to 14. In October of 2023, SpaceX received $1.23 billion in this project to carry out 10 missions to launch payloads for military and other government organizations in 2024. With the dramatic growth of the aerospace industry, we can see more and more companies in this field being established. The project of NASA, the leading space agency in the U.S., never failed to disappoint us with the huge amounts of money they pour into them. The highlight that we often talk about is the non-reusable moon rocket, SLS, with an initial estimated cost of $1 billion per launch. The SLS has always been an expensive rocket. However, with new estimates, the cost per launch of the SLS has increased to $2 billion, $3 billion, and currently stands at $4.1 billion with no signs of stopping for future missions. Not only has the cost of the rocket skyrocketed, but the amount NASA is spending to build a new launch tower for the new SLS rocket has also become larger than ever before. This new mobile launch platform will support future crewed missions under Artemis, and it is even larger than all the platforms NASA currently uses. When Bechtel secured the contract for the mobile launcher too, it was reportedly priced at $383 million, with an initial completion target in the spring of 2023. However, cost increases and design delays extending into 2022 led NASA's Office of Inspector General to review the program. According to a scathing year-end report from NASA's Inspector General, the project is significantly behind schedule. The launcher's way to exceed specifications, and the overall cost has soared to hundreds of millions of dollars over budget. The latest cost estimate for the project is $960 million, two and a half times the initial plan. For this price, even the richest man in the world, Elon Musk also said, seems pricey. The delivery is officially delayed until October 2025, but the audit indicates that even by that time, it might not be achievable, possibly taking even longer. We expect further cost increases as inevitable technical challenges arrive when ML2 construction begins, the audit reads, given the time NASA requires for additional testing once the structure delivered, 
the earliest ML2 will be available for Artemis 4 in November, 2026. Wow, so what's the reason behind this? NASA awarded the contract to Bechtel before the specifications for the Space Launch System rocket's upper stage were finalized. The major upgrade to the rocket will come via a more powerful second stage, known as the Exploration Upper Stage, or EUS. The lack of final requirements to accommodate the EUS hindered the design of the mobile launch tower, which must power and fuel the rocket on the ground. NASA's explanation for doing this is that it had no choice but to move forward with the tower's design and construction to meet a timeline for its lunar missions. The first three flights of the Artemis program, culminating in a human lander rocket no earlier than 2025, are to fly on the initial variant of the Space Launch System rocket, which has its own separate mobile launch tower. However, beginning with the Artemis 4 mission, NASA wants to launch lunar missions on the more powerful upgraded version of the SLS rocket, which will require the new mobile launch tower. Normally, this mission is planned for 2026, but realistically, it's not going to fly before 2027 or 28 due to delays in the earlier Artemis flights. Nevertheless, NASA pressed for the construction of the second mobile launch tower to be ready for 2026 and asked for design work to be done on the tower before the rocket's final requirements were known. This is likely to result in additional costs, pushing the price of the second mobile launch tower above a billion dollars. This is left to even NASA Administrator Bill Nelson thoroughly disappointed. They couldn't perform in NASA's stock. But this is not the only launch tower where NASA's a drain on resources. Their first launch tower, ML-1, also has a similar history of overcosts and delays of up to years. NASA's first SLS rocket launch tower, known as Mobile Launcher 1, indeed comes with a hefty price tag. It's priced at at least $927 million. This amount includes the initial development cost of $234 million to build the tower to support the Ares I rocket. After the cancellation of the Ares I rocket in 2010, NASA then spent an additional $693 million to redesign and modify the structure for the SLS rocket. It's worth noting that NASA's initial estimate for modifying the launch tower was only $54 million, but they consistently ended up with figures many times higher later on. In the end, Mobile Launcher 1 supports the 350-foot-tall SLS rocket, providing access to the Orion spacecraft and supplying power, communication, cooling, and fuel for the completed rocket. However, everything wasn't smooth sailing when it came to this first launch tower. Is it experienced a notable tilt? While there was no official announcement about this, it's likely just a cover-up for NASA's misstep in choosing the construction contractor Venker. NASA accepted and proven and untested designs from Venker to expedite the construction and manufacturing contracts. Agency staff noted that sometimes they were aware that subsystem designs were incomplete or needed further testing, but they still advanced them because project timelines required it for manufacturing and construction activities to proceed. Fortunately, everything related to the launch tower is operating normally, but it doesn't rule out the possibility of encountering issues at any time. Up until now, ML-1 has successfully served the SLS launch mission at the end of 2022 and has undergone significant repairs. In recent months, it had continued to be tested and improved in preparation for reuse on the Artemis II flight plan for next year, which will be the first crewed mission. However, the ongoing issue of the tilted tower raises concerns about the safety of the launch tower more than ever. During this period, Bechtel National Inc., the contractor responsible for assembling NASA's second mobile launch tower, has just begun assembling the first DOPs at Kennedy Space Center. It seems uncertain whether Bechtel can meet NASA's delivery schedule, but delays are entirely foreseeable. While NASA is still grappling with a mess of their $2 billion launch towers, SpaceX is gearing up to stack the third launch tower for Starship over at Starbase. Through Starbase, SpaceX has already demonstrated the ability to stack the Starship launch tower from its unoccupied concrete base to its final height of approximately 145 meters in about two months flat. Even though SpaceX will have to transport the tower components from Florida to Texas, there's no reason to believe that the third Starship launch tower in Starbase won't be stacked up at least relatively quickly. In fact, SpaceX has already shipped seven parts of the tower over to Starbase. The area is prepared for the new tower and all changes are clearly planned. The new Starship launch tower promises to be built faster than ever because SpaceX has gained a lot of experience in prior constructions. 
Moreover, the tower is cost-effective, costing only a fraction of the amount of $1 million NASA support into constructing its launch tower, which has been used no more than four times. SpaceX ultimately aims to have a number of launch towers similar to the number of super-heavy boosters. To achieve this, they have many tasks ahead. It's crucial for Starship to achieve orbit, and the relentless efforts of SpaceX's company always shine through. As of December of 2023, the U.S. has more than 10,000 aerospace companies with various scales. Competing in a race with so many players is certainly extremely difficult, but somehow SpaceX, a giant in the industry, always knows how to make a difference from the rest. Not only continuously creating rocket launch records, SpaceX is also showing its dominance by receiving valuable contracts, especially billion-dollar ones. SpaceX said that Dragon has brought many benefits to SpaceX not only in reputation, but also in financial aspects. Only Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy are entrusted with this noble responsibility. Following Falcon 9, Heavy and Dragon, it's crucial to highlight Starship's significance. Despite being in the development and testing phase, Starship plays a pivotal role in securing vital contracts for SpaceX. Notably, NASA awarded SpaceX a $2.9 billion contract in 2021 for the development of the HLS variant of Starship, marking a monumental leap toward landing humans on the moon for the first time in over half a century. Furthermore, by the close of 2022, Starship facilitated SpaceX's acquisition of an additional $1.15 billion contract for the development of the second HLS Starship. Later for service in the Artemis IV mission, these contracts and missions stand as essential milestones for SpaceX, especially for the ambitious Starship project. Those are the most typical billion-dollar contracts that SpaceX has received during its development process. And if you hadn't realized already, these contracts came continuously in just a few years. Perhaps no other aerospace organization can do this, excluding SpaceX. Additionally, there are still many other valuable contracts that billionaire Elon Musk's company has won, and you can list more in the comments section down below. So why has SpaceX gained so many billion-dollar contracts? The answer is not difficult to find. They have capacity and reliability on their side. It can't be said that after becoming the first private aerospace company that can launch liquid fuel rockets into space, SpaceX has always been the top priority for every organization, especially NASA, to choose for each of its missions. And that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in and that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. And if you want to support our channel and if you want to be up to date, you can become an exclusive member so click on our perks through the link the description below thanks to watching and see you next time by the way are you familiar talk talk philippines app talk talk is a delivery service app designed to connect more people by delivering items door to door for more information download the talk talk app here down below